Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to do a hair tutorial. Let's go ahead and jump in on what you're going to need. First thing, you're going to need a hair dryer, a hair net, a set of rollers. In this case, I'm using three different sizes since my hair is really short. Followed by a comb, some clips, and a flat iron. So before we get started with the hair tutorial, let's go ahead and wash our hair. Ever since I cut my hair, I've been trying to use more healthier options for my hair. And I love this Van Pure Shampoo and Conditioner Duo. I feel like it smells good, it's plant-based, and it has less chemicals than the regular shampoo and conditioner that you will find at the store. When I apply conditioner, I like to leave it on my hair for about 5 to 10 minutes. So once I apply it on my hair, I go straight to clean my body. And to clean my body, I prefer this exfoliating washcloth along with this body wash. This body wash smells so good. I prefer this washcloth better than a lupus. I feel like it cleans my body much better. And then once I'm done, I go ahead and detangle my hair with a detangling brush. And now we're ready to start with our hair rollers. I always keep a water bottle just in case I feel dehydrated, also music playing in the background to set the mood, and yeah, ready to get started. First thing we're going to do, we're going to part our hair. We're going to start from the corner of our forehead using a fine tooth tail. We're going to bring the line all the way to the back of the neck, and I like to separate the middle section that we just separated um, with the side, and I'm going to tie it. That way it doesn't get on my way when I start doing the middle section then we're going to use this hair roller to be our guidance on parting our hair on the other side so we're going to use this and on the other side on the other corner that's how we're going to part the following line again starting from the forehead all the way to the back of the neck once we have the hair parted we're going to clip it up that way we can start in the middle section just keep in mind this takes practice. By no means this is easy on your first try. Expect some of the rollers to be a little loose. It happens to me all the time and I've been doing this for years. Let's start with the first section. It's very important to fold the tip of your hair to the roller as best as you can. Take your time. Messing this part up will cause your ends to look dry and damaged at the end. As you're rolling your hair to the scalp, make sure you're using your fingers to secure the side of your roller that way you don't want the hair to come out on the sides of the roller. There be times where I part the hair with the comb but then I feel like the hair is too thick and with the comb I'm not able to get the right measurements so sometimes I use my fingers to separate the hair, detangle my hair and again repeat the steps of folding the roller to my scalp securing that the hair doesn't come out from the sides of the roller. And then we're going to clip the hair. I only put one because I'm already experienced, but if you feel that like your hair is still loose, you can put another clip on the other side. We're going to repeat the same steps all throughout the hair, and because my hair is already short, I will use the red and the blue rollers to secure the shorter side of my hair. The side rollers are always a little bit more tricky than the middle section, so just be patient. We're going to use our ears as guidance to part our hair. And then we'll go from there in separating the smaller sections to apply the rollers in the back of our ears. And then we're going to go to the middle section and top section and be parting the hair small pieces at a time. This is where the different sizes of rollers come in handy because this section is a small section so a regular roller won't fit there but if you use a smaller one you are able to fit multiple rollers to dry up the edges of hairline. And what we did on this side we did the exact same steps on the other side 
And I just wanted to show you here, as I was doing my roller, one of my hair um, just got out of the roller. So what I did was I took it out and I rolled it back in. And this is very common when you're a beginner. So just wanted to show you it happens to everyone. So all I did, detangle it and roll it back up. Last but not least, we're going to do this small section, roll it up, and then we're ready to put our hair net to our hair. Usually before I get in the hair dryer, I'm always cleaning around the house or cooking, so this will secure my hair in place. And this is how I came out. And this is the hair dryer I use. Usually I'm in there between 30 minutes to an hour. It all depends if I was doing chores around the house or not. But this day I um, went straight to the dryer and I was there for about 45 minutes to an hour. After being in there for so long, getting out there is such a relief. Getting the rollers out, you feel some type of freedom. It's unexplainable. <laughs> this part I feel like you guys are all familiar with. We're going to go ahead and detangle our knots. Then I'm going to part my hair in half. I'm going to go ahead and clip it up and then separate them in smaller sections and start from the bottom up to get rid of any curls that the rollers created. Basically the rollers I use it to dry my hair, not to curl it. So let's go ahead and get started. When starting with the smaller section, I put the heat of the flat iron at a lower capacity just because I don't want to burn those smaller hair. Um, once I get to towards the middle of the hair, I increase the temperature. That way it's a little hotter and it reduces the frizz of my hair. I'm currently looking for a protector, a hair protector for when I'm using hair tools. So if you guys know of one, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. Again, for the baby hair around my headline, I also reduced the temperature on my flat iron because in the past I burned my little baby hairs and that is not cute when you have your hair straight and you have those little frizzy hairs just sticking out. <laughs> This concludes our video. I hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial. I really enjoyed filming it. I love having my hair straightened uh, when I go to work. That way I don't have to think about what I'm going to do with my hair. Straight hair is so much easier to maintain throughout the week. And yeah, this is how the end result turned out to be. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.